In this Formaloo review, I'm going to show you how to use Formaloo to create varieties of forms for different needs and different industry. So without wasting much time, let me jump into my screen and I'm going to show you how to create varieties of forms using Formaloo. So basically, this is actually the main uh, work platform for you, uh, for Formaloo. Okay? So on the left, you can actually see there's actually uh, different templates, also your CDP. And you can actually share, share with me. So template which actually share with you. Okay. So on the top, you can actually import. Okay. Invite your friends or you can actually do an upgrade. So if you want to create a brand new, uh, form itself, uh, there's two way. You can actually do it via a template or you can actually create new. If you are like me, do not have any design skill. Okay. You can actually choose a template. So for template, there's actually two options from here. You can actually click from here or here. It's also both of them is the same. Okay, simply just click into template. You can actually see tons of templates over here. Okay, you can actually see the order booking, booking and order forms, business. Okay, custom form, education, events, HR, uh, healthcare. So there's actually different on the left. You can actually see different category. Okay, there's tons of tons of tons of form. Of course, I will not go into every form. It's actually time to wasting. Okay. So let me just use this lead generation form. All right. So if you want to see more lead generation form, there's only, there's not only four, there's actually more. Let me just go into show all. So you can actually see there's actually even more types of form. You can actually see this is only page one and this is page two and three. Okay. So let me just show you one of the form itself. So if you want, if you love this form, take a look. You can demo okay you can actually see the form via uh, desktop or, or your ipad or your mobile okay and you actually just try view the template okay so just click start just enter something here continue your surname continue your company continue so we can actually see how responsive is the uh, form itself and in, enter your email let me just go through the whole process so you can actually see how responsive see uh, formalu is all right so you can please submit and that's all so this is actually the form just created okay so if you want to use this form itself you can actually just press this pick this template and this is where you actually do the magic okay so on the right is actually the edit site okay where you can actually edit the form on the left as you can actually add in all the fields okay and you also can uh, edit the fields right now it's empty because we do not select any other fields let me go through the field itself okay there's actually plenty of choice and you can actually edit the text email single choice multi-choice drop down long text number phone number date insert the website or files time so you can actually see there's actually like and dislike yes or no customer uh, satisfaction score from 0 to 10 CD selections video metrics table products hidden and also look up and email verification okay so let's take example if you don't want to add in the website itself all right Okay, so you can change the title itself. You can actually change here. That's very easy. Just change the title, whichever you want. Okay, whichever is appropriate. Okay, so right now, if you want to change, if you want to add this particular view, all you do just drag and drop, put it here, and that's it. So you can actually add a title for that. You can just put add the website, put in the description, and you usually toggle with that whether is this a request or compulsory or not compulsory just toggle it off okay so right now you're actually in the edit field okay just put in everything you want and right now it's over here okay so you can actually drag and drop different type of field into your form itself okay so right now i'm going to show i want to go through the the, the top selection okay under this is actually the first selection is under edit so the next is actually settings so settings you can actually change the uh, the web address as well so and you can change at your own you can actually edit so select your category 
and actually limit one entry per IP. You can also show tracking code after submitting the form and you can also uh, make the form from a duration active from which date or month or two at the, at the end of the duration. You can also have a redirect. Okay, you can actually send the form data to a redirect URL, put a timer on the form, or actually the max response means that you can actually only limit it to 100 responses. You can actually get it insert here and you can actually toggle the form whether is it active or not active. Okay, and also you can actually uh, toggle the form with payment. All right, so the payment right now I believe is actually under only stripes. Okay. So right now the design, let me go through the design tab as well. Okay, so the design tab on the left you can actually see on the form type, multi-steps, single steps or widgets. Okay. You can actually show toggle between, you can show the title or description on the first page. You can toggle this and progress bar. Show form title, shuffle few or the shuffle the order of choice on few. System default and actually is choice of colors as well okay so everything can be edited very easily and the team you can actually sh to, uh, change the color of the team you can actually see if i toggle over you can actually see how does it look okay or the background image as well all right okay so on moving on to notification okay you can actually send the data to the submitter you can actually toggle on on off so it's very easy and you can actually uh, send me a notification email for each response. The email, uh, you can just put in the email address here and also a calculator. So for calculator for itself, for this lead capture form, it's actually not relevant. There's actually one more form called order coffee form. So um, after you order coffee, there's actually a calculator. So you actually can take a look from there. Okay. So I will just also show it to you. So you can actually see the show final calculation from submission. You can actually toggle off show answer sheet before submitting the form and you should actually change the currency as well okay so moving on is actually the logic so this is actually like my map itself so you can actually enlarge it so you can actually see how does it work for this um, from like steps to step like a my map itself so for first step you actually can put in uh, what's your name at web website which i actually insert earlier on so you can actually move around okay so you can actually make it you can actually uh, enlarge it or you can actually minimize it all right so this is actually uh, the logic itself so for result so this is actually the result you can actually see so on this uh, form itself there's actually right now it's, of course it's zero view and there's actually seven view which is we actually insert okay so on the uh, result you can actually see uh, the chart itself so which department you actually work in so there's actually different chart showing you the graph uh, via graph itself so it's very 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 nice so you can actually see how does it look so the responses as well so you can actually see what kind of responses been uh, uh, the responses on your form itself so there's also other integration as well okay you can actually see there is use Zapier for integration so you can actually use uh, third-party apps from this uh, form itself or you can actually share the form okay you just copy, uh, copy and paste to share the form okay so one more thing which i also want to and one more thing also you can actually embed this is embed limb you can actually embed the form to your website all right so right now the presentation is actually something very interesting you can actually uh, if you are, you are actually a, you have a client which you actually build a form you can actually present this under uh, under you can actually present the form itself okay just copy the link and you can actually present it to, to them all right this is actually form alone okay i only can show you one template itself because i do not want to waste more time and this is actually an alternative from form type form type itself is actually uh, you need to pay monthly payment to you in order to use for right now, uh, this is actually an AppSumo uh, product. For Formalo, right now, it's actually a lifetime deal of $59, okay? So I will put a link right below in the description. If you want to try Formalo, go ahead and buy using my link, all right? It's actually a one-time deal of $59, okay? So uh, if you like to watch this video on review products or softwares, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit the notification bell and i will put the link to the description so if you want to purchase go ahead and use my link all right so to the next review i will see you goodbye